Oh, hello everyone. Nice to see you. Today is Remembrance Sunday and this Wednesday will be Remembrance Day. It reminds us of the day that World War I ended on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918. I'm making a poppy. Come have a look. Cutting out these petals, and then I'm going to make my own poppy. So my poppy is complete. But why do we wear poppies on Remembrance Day? Well, in 1915, a Canadian soldier and doctor named Lieutenant Colonel John McRae lost a really good friend in war. He was fighting in Belgium in a place called Flanders Field. And after the battle, he noticed that on the muddy fields, some red poppies were starting to grow again. And it gave him this really good idea to write a poem, a very famous poem called In Flanders Field. Now, after he wrote this poem, a teacher in America called Moina Michael read the poem and thought it would be a really good idea to start to make some red silk poppies and that these would remind her of the people who died in war. In 1921, the Royal British Legion ordered nine million of these red poppies and they sold them on the 11th of November that year. And the money that they raised went to look after families who had maybe lost husbands in war or maybe were injured in war. So they went to look after the soldiers. Now, since then, the Royal British Legion every year has continued to sell poppies. Poppies are a little bit like this one. And the money that they raise go to help servicemen or ex-servicemen and to look after their families because they've been affected by the war. Now, can you see that the poppy is made up of three different parts? Well, each part teaches us an important lesson. First up, we have the centre of the poppy. Can you see it? That reminds me that at the centre of Remembrance Day is something which is full of darkness and is full of evil. And that's war. War's not a good thing. Sometimes we have to have wars, but that's not the way that God wanted it to be. Wars are bad. But secondly, we have the red petals of the poppy. That reminds me that many men and women died during the war. They gave their lives and shed their blood. I guess the question is why? Why did they do that? Well, that moves me on to the green colour. The leaf reminds me of life. They gave their lives so that today we could live our lives in peace and in freedom so that you can go to school and so that we can meet together to worship God on, on a Sunday. 
That's the three lessons of the poppy. But when I look at the poppy, it reminds me of another sacrifice, of someone else who gave their life. You see, the Bible teaches us that at the centre of each one of us is something that is wrong. It's called sin. It's disobeying God. And if you think about it, we're selfish. We want more than what we've been given. We lose our temper and we get angry and we start arguments. And if you think about it, that's how wars begin. But God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus. And Jesus came into the world to deal with the problem of sin. And he died on the cross. He sacrificed himself. He shed his blood so that those who believe in him can have that sin taken away. And more than that, the green leaf reminds us of new life, that Jesus came into this world to give us new life, not just a new life on earth, but eternal life, a special life, his life, a life that would never end, a life that will go on and on forever with Jesus. Now that is a poppy worth thinking about. So children, today is Remembrance Day. It's the day we remember the soldiers, the brave soldiers, men and women, who gave their lives for our freedom today. But it's Sunday today as well. And on a Sunday, we remember as well the Lord Jesus, who gave his life so that we might have eternal life with him. So, where your poppy and wear it with pride today. Thanks for listening and God bless you all.